Hi, I'm Kina. I'm a Head Start teacher with the YWCA, Metro St. Louis Early Education Program. Have you ever wanted to introduce your child to science, just didn't know where to start? Well, I want to show you today an experiment that will hopefully ease your fear. When thinking of science, think of it as a way to introduce your child to the world around them through observation, experimentation, and play. Will it sink or will it float is an activity that you can do. It will help build your child's scientific skills without blowing anything up. All you need for this activity are a small plastic tub, such as the one I have, or even a small bowl, and items that you might find at your home, such as a fork, paper clip, a flower, pine cone, rocks, anything that you might find in your home. Let's play the sink or float game. The object of this is just to figure out what objects will sink and what will float. So what you want to do first is you want to ask your child which item they would like to try first. They may say the paper clip. All right, let's get started with the paper clip. Beforehand, you want to ask your child, do you think the paper clip will sink or do you think it will float? They may say, I think it will float. Let's drop it in the water and we're going to observe. So we observe that the paper clip sank to the bottom. You can ask your child, why do you think the paper clip sank to the bottom? Why did you think it would float? And you want to move on to the next object. You want to ask your child, what would you like to try next? They may say the rock. All right. Do you think the rock will sink or do you think it will float? They may say, I think the rock will sink. And once again, you want to place the rock in the water and observe what's going to happen. <gasps> the rock sank to the bottom. You're right. Why do you think the rock sank? You can also ask, why do you think the rock didn't, didn't float to the top? And what you want to do next is you want to ask your child what object they would like to use next. They may say, the rubber duck. All right, let's try the rubber duck. You can ask your child, do you think this duck will sink or do you think it will float? They may say, I think the duck will sink. Let's try it again. We want to put the duck in the water and we want to observe what's going to happen. So the duck floats on top. And you want to talk to your child about why do you think the duck floats on top? Why did you think the duck was going to sink? And you want to continue this until you've gone through all the items that you have on your table. And as an extension to this activity, you can add more water, less water, or even colored water. This is just a way to introduce science to your child that is fun. And I know that you and your child will enjoy doing this together. 